Hola! Welcome to the Nerd Castle for yet another episode of RimWorld, the world about the Rim. That's what this story's about, and that's what we're doing here. Welcome on back, everybody. It's good to see you. I need to run some power conduit, apparently. I need to put some power conduit all over the place. Now, what this should do is the flow is outwards from power. We set up the switch the last time we played the game, and from my understanding and using this during streams and in my own playtime, power flows outwards from the source. And so, for example, the batteries were over here, and we hit the switch. It would stop the power on this side, but it still flow on this side. This right here should just create a joint so that we can turn it off. And so, for example, I would toggle off the power on that right there. Bam. There it goes. It is not connected to power, which means that everything on this side should now not be functioning. And that's exactly the situation we want to be in, because today... We're going to make our kill box. We are going to make our kill box. We actually are a little bit low on steel. I didn't notice till just now, but steel reserves are, well, drunkening and also not really so great at the moment. You used to shore this up back in ye olden days by trading with people from space. You would just give away a bunch of your goodies. We had a heat wave in the last episode. It was no fun. It almost murdered us in the face. It was problematic. Does he enjoy doing this right now? Like, I feel like he should get joy for doing something that he has a passion for, but you can never quite tell. Is he getting artistry levels? He's getting artistry levels. He's already a level 10 expert, so... I mean, there's only so much more advancement that he can do. But we want to make these little sculptures, because sometimes people buy them. You can make, like, little figurines, and you can make little sculptures. This little button right here, we got somebody on research, finally. And so, essentially, what will happen here is this will fill up very, very slowly. She's not very good at research. We have nobody in our colony who's any good at research. They are all terrible at it. We have a couple people with a passion for it. But, unfortunately, research is kind of like an all-or-nothing deal. So, technically, I suppose I could put one of my growers on it. I could put Harley on it, and she would probably do better. And so I'm thinking maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll put Harley on it instead. And so let's put... We'll put her on three. And then Harley will put her on research if there's not anything else going on. Because there's she's not doing a lot of growing. I was kind of thinking about it in between episodes. I was kind of sitting there looking at the way things were arrayed. I had the game on pause. and was kind of just looking at the way everything was set up. And actually, they need light in here too, unfortunately. We need them... Exhaustion? Who's exhausted? Well, then he should go to bed. He might just be adjusting roughly because we changed his... We changed his sleep allocation. Oh, really? That really hurts your mood, though. What time does he go to bed? How close is he? He goes to bed on the... 21st hour so there he goes I think it's just an adjustment period we changed his schedule around because he was sick and because he needed to do some other stuff and we were working on getting him back up because he was like running around like rubbing his face sweating profusely and looking like kind of guilty the way that like crazy you know when crazy people on the street corner just like raving at the sky that kind of sweaty mm, like that kind of sweat that you only get when you're like in other worlds right now talking to people that don't exist and so nonetheless we've got improvised turrets I could do some deadfall traps in here Can we walk across those, though? That's what's got me worried. Because if we can't walk across those, I don't want to booby-trap traitors, either. Uh... Maybe not. <laughs> Let's resist the temptation for right now. Instead, we're going to focus on... Oh, we don't have enough componentry. That really is sort of unfortunate, ain't it? Okay. So not having componentry is going to be an issue here. We did have some compacted machinery right there. Let's have a look around. we got to find a mining spot for compacted machinery. Otherwise, we aren't going to be accomplishing much anytime soon. There's some right there, but damn, is that far away. I was hoping we'd kind of find something a little bit closer. All the machinery seems to be pretty out there, though. All right, well, we're going to have to do it either way. So give me my orders menu here, and I'm just going to line her up to mine whatever machinery is around. And if we find, like, a big vein of it, that's perfectly fine, too. It's just we need to get started on this, like, right this second. Oh, my God, there is a sneeze in the back. I see steel right there. 
there's a sneeze in the back of my throat right now. It's trying so hard to break out, and I'm fighting it. Like, I've got a finger up my nose right now, like, holding it in place, just being like, ah! Like, there's a legitimate itchy spot in my nose that I'm covering, just so, like, it won't go off in the middle of an episode. And I keep waiting for it to reside. We've got a bunch of steel, though. Like, damn, are we steel rich. We've got a decent amount of steel. You be careful about mining down in this area. It's possible that there might be other bad things around. But for now, that'll have to do. Research is going to be very, very poorly. Artistry is kind of one of those things where it just takes a long time anyways. And that's the truth of the matter, is that artistry takes a while. And if you don't get it sorted, you don't get it sorted. What shabby gear is he wearing, out of curiosity? So he's got a awful cloth pants. Well, yeah, bro. Wear some of that, uh... Where's some of that synth thread, amigo? He should be out for a couple more hours. So hopefully his rest meter will be kind of full by then. He's still in a shared bedroom. I do need to make another bunkhouse or something. We got cargo pods which just came down, and those are inside of our territory. Labrador fur. Dude, why are you dropping dog fur into my territory, man? I already got enough cat fur here to begin with. I'm sitting here right now and I can watch hairballs just float through the air. Just balls of hair. It's one of the few things I really dislike about owning cats. Hairballs and the amount of shedding. Everything else I can deal with. The general surly disposition. How they're mad all the time for reasons you can't really verify. I'm okay with that. I can live with all of those random things. But the things that I cannot live with. You know, the hairballs and the shedding. I have a cat that coughs up a hairball. I swear to God every two days. Just, I had nice carpets, don't have nice carpets anymore. Half the house is hard flooring. Half the house is hard flooring. Every single time he throws up, it's on the carpet. He tries it. I, When I know, I can tell. I can look at him now. He gets this look on his face and his hackles do this thing. I close off all the doors to the places. Where was that raid at? Oh, it's down south. So we probably want to cancel these then. It would probably be wise. There's four of them. They landed on a warg. He has Molotov cocktails, which is like... Bad. That's really, really not good. I assume that she's probably out here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, we need to keep an eye on everybody. Lumi's over here. Bring Lumi back. Let's go ahead and... I need that to be switched back on. I need to try, I guess, and get turrets up and running. And they need to be pretty far away from the wall, if they can be. So, like, right there would be cool. Right there would be cool, probably. And if I could get you to prioritize building one of those, that'd be cool. Wouldn't be upset. No, 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 don't do that. What in the good lord's name are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Everybody rouse yourselves from sleep. And my suggestion would be actually to take cover behind this wall. Take cover behind that wall. You go over there. You get behind a tree or something. Actually, stay here in case they try to rush us. And then Anna... I don't know, get in behind a tree or something. I don't really know what to say here. Chef's down. Very, very nice. Oh, he's running for it. He's running for it. Get out of the line of fire. I think he's decided he wants cover. Everybody else pull back in. We already have a morale bonus, though, because we've taking them out. No, don't drop your pistol. Go over there. Okay, so you guys now... Eh. Step to the corner. You guys fire at him. You guys fire at him.
I would really prefer not to be set on fire today. All right, fall back to secondary positions. No nos on fire, which is always pleasure. No no stop being on fire. I'm gonna move her to there and have her fire at him. Cause he's gotta go. There we go. He's down. We got one who's wounded. This needs to be home zone, like, right now. So if it's not home zone, let's make it home zone, shall we? So you guys all undraft. You guys all undraft. We'll get people into medical beds when they need it, but we need to save this guy right here so that Chef... Hello there, children. I'm gonna make love to you, woman. I'm gonna lay you down a by the fire. Chef was one of my favorite characters before he went all crazy and turned to Scientology. Let's see here. Good, good. Capture Chef. We've got guns. We now have that. Haul whoever you want to haul. I don't know what he's wearing right now, but we should set him up for stripping. An area has been revealed. What area was revealed? Was there like a cave or something over here? Since we just had a raid, I'm going to let them... I'm going to let them come and we're going to sort it out. Harley didn't take any damage right there. With this guy, I need you to get healed. You've been shot a lot of times. This may not go so great for... Oh, he's a good crafter, though. He's nervous, but he's trigger happy. Trigger happy is pretty good if you give him something like a shotgun or you give him something like a grenade where there's like... They throw faster. Wouldn't be bad. I was hoping somebody would have grenades. Grenades are really dangerous, but if you can get grenades, you can basically wreck everybody without too many problems. Uh, we've got full batteries right now, so that's good. Yeah. Chat and recruit. Harley, why are you doctoring so badly right now? You doctored him so badly that he can't walk. I want you to let that sink in for a minute. You doctored him so terribly that he cannot walk. We did take some damage right there, though, but we ran him off. We survived it, and they didn't, which is always a good thing. He'll get better. And when he gets better, we probably want to give somebody the shotgun. I remember the pump being pretty solid. No, no, are you actually good at melee? He's okay at melee. He's terrible at shooting. Who else has a melee weapon? Pistols, pistols, pistols. It's got to be my miner then. Where's my miner? I'm missing someone. Hermine has a gun. No, no, has a spear. Harley has a club. Are you any good at shooting? You like shooting though, so go get the shot. No, go get the pump shotgun. I would way rather have less melee people. I am not a fan of melee people. Melee people are good. They have their uses, like shutting down people with rocket launchers and stuff like that. But a rejected proposal. Anna has rejected Hermine's marriage proposal. Hermine is going to be unhappy about this. Hermine and Anna are no longer in a relationship. Oh, they broke up. Yikes. You'd be sleeping alone in that double-sized bed now. Damn. Damn. Chef has gotten sick from infection. It is in his liver. Well, I mean, he'll either survive it or he won't. I mean, that's the truth of the way that works. I mean, we can treat it, and we could throw a little something-something on top of it. I'm going to need you to prioritize treating Chef, please. Just get that infection band-aided up. Throw some antiseptic on that thing. And then you can go back to bed. I don't even care. Just make sure that his whole body is not rotting off like a servant of Nurgle or something. I need to prioritize stripping. And then I need you to prioritize hauling. Please. Get that body out of here. 
Oh my god, there's so much steel up here, though. There's so much steel up here! And I want it all. I want it all for me! Wondrous, glorious me! Alright, so we've got that. Sorry, my psychosis took over. It happens from time to time. Little bit right there. Ooh, there's more. Good. I was hoping we would hit a vein. How one compacts machinery in a wall. I'm not really sure. I'm assuming there must have been ancient facilities down here or something. And then they had some kind of like fantasy star shit going on and it just got like taken over by geological processes or something. That should give us enough to at least get our kill box going. Yeah, because that's... 16. So with 16... I'll probably get after some of this down here too, because we need compacted machinery, something bad. Like if we can't get it, then... That leaves us trading for it, which means that I'm not able to put this whole kill box up much quicker. That last fight wouldn't have been nearly so bad if... Here, somebody designate the power on that too. We don't want to be spending electricity on inactive defenses. Hmm. Right there seems all right. I may actually give that a little scoochie pie. There we go. Now we're reasonably defended. A boomalope has self-tamed itself. It just wants to hang out with us, bruh. It just wants to be part of the fam. That's all that it wants. It knows that our colony is lit. Like fire. Where is Nono, by the way? Are you treated? Ugh, this goddamn muscle parasites again. So did that get rid of his, like, grumpy, like, I'm wearing shitty clothes? Oh, no, it didn't. How are these clothes over here? Shoddy. Jacket, shoddy. Eh. We'll have to make do. We will have to make do. I may not have enough materials to make all those turrets, but I would like for... Wait, how does he have another infection? Man, this guy better be worth it. Oh, his torso and his liver are infected. That's not good. He's 50% of the way to immunity, though, and it's only on minor and major, so he might survive. Are you treating him? Like, are these being treated, or is he just having to ride this out now and just hope that he makes it? Oh, he's got to ride it out. Okay, I don't know that I feel good about a boomalope being inside my base. I mean, if he's going to be here, he might as well be trained, though. I don't feel good about this at all. I don't like the fact that there's a boomalope that I have for a pet. It's like having a pet grenade. Look, it's my pet of stick C4. Hooray. <laughs> it's my pet plastique. We have a party, and then we also have a group from Utopia's Mesa who are visiting the colony. We also have cargo pods, which have monkey hide. Cool, I guess. Who want that monkey hide? We got that monkey hide up in here. You ain't lived in the wilderness until you don't take that monkey hide. Let's see, I will buy all of your medicine. I will sell you Molotov cocktails. I will sell you... Why do a uh, hat? Oh, there they are. I will sell you all of my simple meals because I can make more of those. And then I will accept the trade. And you will accept the trade because I dictate the terms here. I dictate the terms. We need like a village idiot who just cleans things. That's who we need now, in my opinion. So, Hermine, are you, like, not cooking anymore? Are you just, like, done with that jazz? Because I seem to recall... Oh, they're having the party, that's right. It's party time! Rocking the lampshades and all that. Everybody's eating raw food right now, which is also concerning. Hopefully nobody gets hungry. 
because you are eating nothing but berries today. Enjoy that set of diarrhea. Yay, the bill is complete. He made a small sculpture. Let's have a look at it. There's a description of the sculpture. I'm not even messing with you. Like, we put the sculpture in there. Oh, God. The author is Arnaud Nono Calais. Its quality is normal. Its beauty is 30. It is slightly flammable. Its market value is 235. On this piece is a depiction of Lumine Lumi LeBlanc smacking Arnaud Nono Calais while capturing him with professional efficiency. Nono is injured and seems to be in pain. A personified depiction of seclusion stands in the distance, while almost every shape in the image seems to be square. This representation refers to the capturing of Nono on the 11th of spring in 5500. Dark times. Dark times when you get captured out there, Nono. It's dark. Oh, we got a mad animal. I was going to say, it seems a little early for another raid. It's just a grumpy-ass squirrel. Don't attack it or anything. My dog goes nuts over squirrels, so... Why won't you guys fight him? Fight him! You've got a spear! you got, like, mankind's greatest invention. Yeah, you one-shotted him, see? I know you'd be alright. And now you need medical attention, huh? Because you got bit and scratched by a squirrel. Rabies! He's just running around. Every time you try to give him a glass of water, he just huddles in fear in the corner of the room. <laughs> like, no! Eh. Hey, he got immunity to both. He's back up. He barely outran that one. He survived it just slightly. Oh, that's cool. 4% chance is good enough to gamble on. Oh, another raid, really? Oh, dude, they might go this way. They might go through here, which would cause all kinds of issues for me. I forgot to close it off. Ah. Somebody go over here, damn it, and prioritize working on the wooden wall. Somebody go over here and flick the switch, please. Colonist needs treatment. That's Nono with his blood parasite thingamadoobies. That's going to drain off the power so fast, though. Yeah, we got to hope that they come at us quick. Can I get somebody who's a constructor to, like, finish that? I hope they come in the way I think they're coming in from. Given the prevalence of steel... Hmm, did they nerf the accuracy on these? Did he just one-shot my turret? There's one down. If we can get that sniper rifle, that'd be great, because it one-shot at a turret, which is very much upsetting. I hate that a lot. There we go. So we killed off a couple of them. They're down, and that's a superior sniper rifle. So that's a really, really good gun right there. That's a, that's a gun that we'll throw down. That means anybody with a really good shoot score, we probably want you to have that. So you know what? Go get yourself a gun. Yup, that's how we do it. Sniper rifle all in my hand, man. I'm gonna shoot you with my sniper. Wait, you've only got eight shooting? Hmm. You gotta rebuild one of these turrets. I do wish that there was like an auto build feature where like when something is broken, you just like automatically rebuild it. I'm gonna add a few more. I may put in, given the amount of, given the ridiculous quantity of steel that we have, I may go through, actually, we're kind of low on steel right now, but then again, nobody's hauling either, so that would be the other part of the issue. Nono has gotten sick from the plague. How'd you pull that one off, man? How'd you get the plague? No, no, go to the medical bed, dear God. Why do you do these things to me, Rimworld Jesus? Why do you do these things to me? What is this? A fine-ass meal. A meal that's beautiful. Got a good look for the children. Yes, fix all of the wiring and any wiring that might have been blown up, please. 
we're starting this process again. Cargo poods. What's inside the cargo poods? More boomalo. Who is this guy that keeps dropping leather out of space on us? Like, who is this guy? Why is this necessary? Like, I don't know what they need. I'm just going to send leather. Does that sound all right, Marie? I'm just going to send down leather. Like, Jesus, Maury, stop sending them leather. They don't need it anymore. I suppose I could make some baller-ass pants on here. Make a t-shirt. I don't know. Make like five of them. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Our tailor has the plague, though, so... Chances are you may have to burn the clothes right after you get them. I feel like the turrets used to be more accurate. Like, I felt like we were shooting at enemies, but we weren't really finding purchase right there. And then our turret got one-shotted, and I was like, oh, shenanigans. Shenanigans of the highest quality. Oh, yeah, turn off the turn off the guns, please. We don't need them no mo. I would greatly enjoy it if you guys would haul down some of this metal. I'm not going to hold out hope, but I would like it if you did. And, of course, we're going to give him... Sure, why not? We'll give him some furniture in here to just beautify the room a little bit. And we'll put in, like, a... Can I do a wooden plant plot? Yeah, I want to do a wooden plant. He doesn't get, like, the good shit. Everybody gets a plant pot. Because why not? When you get a plant pot, we say, why not? And then we also need a standing lamp in here because it's dark. And I think they craft slower in the dark or something like that. And then I will see you on the next episode. This is RimWorld. We're doing pretty good right now. We're doing pretty well. We're not like 100% ready to go, but we're doing all right. Herbal medicine spoils? Ah, shit. That means I got to put it in here. Right, I'll fix that in a minute. I'll fix that in a minute, but I'll see y'all next time, and I promise you it'll be working then.